if you're tipping down with liquid sunshine, I'm here in Blind Fest in New York. But there's no other place in the world I'd rather be. Why? Because that, that is the world's newest, brand new steam locomotive. This is James Spooner. Built to design, really very old indeed. But this machine has been built in the workshops by the people who love this railway. Dozens of us have travelled, some from near and some from far, but all up the valley from Port Maddock, behind the engine, to see it be named officially. It's called James Spooner, after the original engineer of this railway. Spooner designed a 13-mile railway which sent down loaded wagons by gravity initially and back up the hill hauled by horses. But he saw the opportunity to use steam engines and got the first York ready to use them. Small engines were brought in, but it was engines like this a bit later, known as double fairlies, which showed industrialists worldwide that narrow gauge railways were viable. The first in York's first fairly was called Little Wonder in 1869, but it was Spooner's grandson who designed an even better one in 1872, itself called James Spooner. It's very clever because it has these two bogies, we call them. It's double ended, it's a bendy engine, you see. It's got two ends to it, so it goes the same way as it goes backwards. The whole thing swivels on these two bogies, it's got very tight corners that little narrow gauge railways could do. And it meant that railways could conquer the world, could go up mountains, down valleys, and haul the most remarkable loads. Now, as Heritage Railways find themselves with ever increasing bills to pay, we have to find ways forward. So, what better way than to use the iconic Fairly design once again? This design might look Victorian, but underneath, this is a brand new engine with high tech improvements. This is the future of Heritage Railways, and this will safeguard the future, we hope this railway. Well done everybody and thank you for inviting me.